So there's a correct way to handle God's word. But here's a question that's so important. Will God ever contradict what's written in his word when he speaks to an individual? On the surface, it sounds like a silly question. But I've heard too no. many Christians say, like, tell me, I'm doing this. And we go, hmm? And they go, well, God told me that it's okay to do this, to do yeah. that. And we go, so my question is, what's going on there? They, 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 even good people. God told me, but it's different to what the word says. Well, it all started in the garden. Okay. God said you're doomed if you eat of that tree. Yeah. Because then you're going to have human knowledge where you assume the right to oh. judge between good and evil. Oh, my goodness. And so the whole world's been plunged into chaos because... Oh. With the knowledge of what is good and what is evil came the assumed right to judge what was good and what was evil. This is good. And that then separated us or allowed us an independence from God's voice being the sole judge of what was good and evil. Up until the mm, time they mm, ate of that mm, tree, mm. They hadn't a clue what was good or evil. They just listened to what God said. And if God said it, this is it was true. If God didn't say it, it wasn't true. It was so simple. But then with the knowledge of good and evil, wow. mankind wow. started to say, well, now I can make up my own mind. Wow. And birthed into the heart of man wow. was this desire to be independent from God and his word from the restriction, what they perceived as a restriction. And so when mm. people today totally underestimate the power of their own desire, the power Ooh. of human persuasion, yes. and because we're all families, people, relationships, uh, areas of life that matter a lot to us, our, our business that we've raised up over 10 years, we can get very, very attached to, to people, to pets, to, to <laughs> we can get attached to our business. We can get deeply attached to things. And when if that then builds such a persuasional desire inside of us mm -hmm. that we begin to interpret the will of God according to our desire for that person or that environment. This is very good. And that and so the only way that we can actually determine what is God saying and is what I'm hearing yeah. really the voice of God is to go back to what he has established and said already. The Word of God, the Bible, is yeah. never going to alter. Yeah. It's never persuaded by human desire. Yeah. It is the truth. You yes. don't have to discuss, Not well, what is the truth? Yeah. Um, because the Bible is the truth. Yes. And the, the great tragedy today is that Christians are falling into catastrophic situations that would be totally avoided yes. had they gone to the Bible and to the Word of God and submitted there very interpretation good. of what God wanted very good to the scrutiny of the Bible and also then taking that to their spiritual oversight the yeah. pastor of the church or whoever and saying look I know I'm vulnerable on this I've got invested interest Oof. please help me to see what God is saying clearly Dad, this is my so friends good. never underestimate the power of your own personal desire Wow. It's worth submitting it wow. because only the will of God, according to the word of God, Oof. can actually lead you into the place of fruitfulness that you want. Dad, boom. Uh, you, you touched on so many things. You, so many things in that one little thing. I hope you're loving Father and in the prophetic because I am. And your starting point was the simplicity of it used to be just what God said, that's what we did. And that's we it. complicated it now. And now deception gets in from the enemy. Desire gets in from yes. ourselves. Philosophies. And, and God's word will never change. You've said that. So mm. if, if we think we're hearing something, but God's word says something different, we're wrong. That's it. Uh, we, it's we, simple. We've got to get that. The word of God we think we hear will never violate the word of God that is clear. 
Outstanding. The yeah. Word of God that is clear is our foundation. Everything else needs to be filtered through that. But once again, you came back full circle like you did last time to accountability again. It's freedom. It's not control. It's freedom and there is safety. So God will never contradict His written Word. And we're going to break with what we thought about in our next question. So do come back because I want to share with you something that will lead you into it an incredible degree of freedom in our next session together. Wonderful. Bless you.